Hello, everyone. Welcome to Talking Logistics, where we have conversations with thought leaders and newsmakers in the supply chain logistics industry. It's my great pleasure to welcome to today's program, Chris Snow, who's Fleet Manager at Pactive Corporation. And uh, Chris is participating in our latest installment of Profiles in Excellence in Yard Management, where we highlight uh, companies that are leading the way in driving innovation and continuous improvement in their yard, yard management operations. Uh, so it's great to uh, uh, have, welcome Chris to the program. So Chris, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Adrian. I appreciate it. Great. Well, Chris, you know, before we dive into the, uh, the topic, why don't you tell us briefly a little bit about Pactive Corporation for folks that may not be familiar with the company and kind of your current role and responsibilities there at the company. Sure. Um, Pactive is the world's largest producer of food packaging and disposable dinnerware. Not only do we supply food processors, but we also supply to the uh, food service industry, such as Cisco, US Foods. Um, we also do a consumer brand with uh, Walmart, Sam's Club. Um, so we're in a little bit of everything as far as disposable food packaging or uh, disposable food goods. Hey, and what's your current role there at the, at the company? Uh, Pactive, I'm the fleet manager for the Midwest. I handle all of our shuttle services along with our spotting. We have approximately uh, 10 manufacturing sites in the Chicagoland area, and those all feed into three central DCs. Um, so I'm responsible for the flow of the product and making sure that our spotters and shuttle drivers are doing what we need them to do when we need them to do it. Great. Well, I'm sure there's, there's never a dull moment in, uh, in, in your role there. Yeah, every day is a new challenge. Great, great. So to get started, I mean, why don't you, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about yard management there at, at Pactive, particularly before you implemented your, your current solution. I mean, what, what you know, uh, business challenges or, or improvement opportunities led you to seek a solution? Sure. As with most companies, I'm sure before they uh, put in a YMS, they were probably tracking the yard and trailers on an Excel spreadsheet manually. Uh, some of those challenges we faced were, you know, individuals forgetting to update the spreadsheet, not saving the spreadsheet not saving it to the share drive, um, you know, spotters that get out in the yard and they're trying to find a trailer that we need to load a load or one that we need to unload for a hot customer load. And they're spending, you know, 10, 15 minutes looking for the trailer because, you know, there's 200, 300 trailers out in the yard. So when you're looking for a specific trailer number, it can take quite a bit of time. Um, those were our largest challenges. Um, also another one, one of our issues was uh, inbound trailer detention. You know, not unloading uh, carrier trailers in a timely enough manner, whereas after three days, they started cha charging us a trailer detention fee. Yeah, so I, I would say, obviously, from a, you know, from a productivity standpoint, you know, having folks out in the yard trying to find something, you know, that, that's wasted, wasted time is wasted money, obviously. And then, Definitely. obviously, for a lot of companies, those, those detention charges, uh, you know, can, can add up over time, right? For sure. You know, if you're looking at a week, that's an extra hundred dollars right there, right off the top. And um, if you're not keeping a close eye on to it, the total can grow very quickly. Right, right. Yeah, no, I think, I think the, uh, the, the, the challenges you kind of shared there are, you know, common across a lot of the companies that I talk to that uh, are using, again, Excel spreadsheets. You know, it's, it's a, you know and, and you're not alone, or you weren't alone, I should say, in terms of, of using that type of solution. I, I think it, even though we're, we're in 2000, halfway through 2017, I, I think Excel remains one of the most popular supply chain and logistics software applications out there. I definitely agree with you, Adrian. No doubt about it. And we definitely were going down that path and we saw an opportunity for improvements. So that's when we started talking with Pink uh, in regards to their yard management system. Great, great. So, um, so, so let's let's talk a little bit about that now. I mean, to to achieve kind of the the, the objectives that, that you you were looking to uh, kind of achieve, uh, what were some of the key capabilities that you were looking for in a, in a yard management solution? Um, one of the main things we're looking for is trailer location identification. So when we were telling a spotter to move trailer X Y Z to door one, he wouldn't have to go around and search the whole yard. With uh, our pink YMS. It'll show you on a little map exactly where the trailer is. It'll tell you a spot number or a door number. So the spotter can very easily find the trailer. Um, other great functionality that we've seen is uh, the moves are all sent electronically. There's no handwriting out a move list. There's no calling over the radio to the spotter. Um, also, we can send uh, messages to the spotter through the ping system. So you're not having to use his cell phone or a radio. 
Um, it's been a great help. So in terms of electronic communication, uh, are the folks there in the yard, are they using handheld devices? Are they going to the terminal and accessing the system? How, how are they doing that? Good question. Um, each of our spotting units has a tough book that is mounted inside the cab. Um, it's connected to the truck's ignition for a power source. And then on the back of the truck, there are two antennas that as the spotter drives through the yard, the antennas are picking up the pink tags that we have placed on the trailers to identify by GPS coordinates where that trailer is located and that the trailer is actually still in the yard. Great, great. Yeah, so, so obviously a much more automated system, less opportunity for uh, you know, misinformation or poor data quality because it's being captured kind of electronically in, in that manner. Definitely, and it also helps with security as far as making sure all of your trailers are on site. You know, we have had issues in the past with trailers going missing that were completely loaded. The police would find them a couple of days later and they'd be empty. Um, so this gives us real-time data check as to what we have in the yard at all times. Great, great. Yeah, so obviously that's another, you know, value-added benefit there from a, from a security standpoint. So, so tell us a little bit about, you know, the evaluation process. I mean, who, who was involved in terms of finding the right solution? You know, what factors ultimately led you to select the, the pink solution? Um, involved in the evaluation process was myself, the regional uh, director of operations, and a couple of the operations managers. Um, as I said, we were looking for real-time trailer location. We were looking for reduced chatter on the radio with the spotter, um, security, reporting, um, tracking productivity, um, and the ability to customize the application for anything else that we needed down the line. That's what led us down the road to choosing Pink as our service provider. Great, great. Now, so how, who was involved in, in actually implementing the solution then? And, and, you know, how long did it take? Did, did you start at one particular facility first and, and see how that went out? Uh, did, did you get feedback from, you know, the folks down in the front lines to see what, what was working, not working? Did just kind of get curious in terms of how, the, how it was rolled out to your operations. Um, as you can imagine, with anything new, there's always a lot of pushback from people that are going to be using it. People get set in their ways and are a little bit scared or timid about learning something new and worried about how well they'll grasp the concept. Um, when we did the rollout, we had uh, Pink Associates on site. The first thing we did is we went through and did what they call mapping the yard. We went through and they created in the system all of our parking spaces for our trailers on a map of our facility. They created the dock doors. Um, once they had that loaded into the system, we reviewed our business processes to make sure that we had all business cases covered, um, that the pink system would handle what we needed it to do. Um, then we started training. Um, like you said, we started out at one location and did location by location with a little bit of time in between, between excuse me, probably about 30 days in between to allow time for the mapping, training, and so forth. Um, but overall, from start to finish, on the first location, it was probably around six months to get all the training, mapping, you know, getting the POs created and signed off on, and making sure everybody was on the same page as far as what uh, business processes we need to handle through the system. Great, great. And how many locations are, are using this now? Um, right now, we're using it, I believe it's about 12 of our locations across the country. Okay, great, great. Nice thing about having it across the country is you can look at other locations yards. You might not be able to change any of the data depending on uh, your access level, but say if I wanted to see if my trailer made it out to San Bernardino, California, I can pull up their yard in my pink system and look for that trailer in their yard and then it gives me more reassurance that it did make it. Um, you know, sometimes they might say, hey, this trailer didn't come in, I need this product, it's hot. I can go in and take a look and say, hey, here it is right here in parking spot one, two, three. Oh, great, um, so great. Definitely helpful in, uh, across the country. Great. So it sounds like, you know, certainly having this, this broader or more global visibility has certainly been one of, one of the benefits that, that you've achieved. So that was going to be my next question. You know, what have been some of the benefits achieved to date and, and any unexpected benefits? Um, yes, we have realized a, a reduction in spotting labor, approximately 20% reduction. Um, all the time the spotters used to spend looking for the trailers or doing a manual yard check, uh, a lot of that has been eliminated. Um, we've also reduced our shuttle labor, which is our drivers that are going back and 
forth between the manufacturing plants and the DCs um, by keeping a close eye on their moves, um, where empty trailers are available. You know, we're able to direct them to the location that we know has equipment available for them versus them showing up at a location that does not and having to sit and wait for 30 or 60 minutes at a time. Um, some of the other things we've noticed are uh, trailer detention has gone down. Um, a very neat function of the pink system is we have it set up to send out automated emails to our carrier partners so that when a load is created, they receive notification real time that the trailer is ready for pickup. Um, you know, most of the transportation departments that we work with are Monday through Friday, you know, usually 6 p.m. Everybody's out of the office for the weekend. Um, so even over the weekend, the pink system is able to send out these notifications saying, hey, your order is ready for pickup on this trailer at this address, please dispatch your driver. So that has also greatly improved our on-time delivery to our customers. Um, you know, that was one of the things we were not expecting to find out through the system. Great, great. So th th those are some great, uh, great, great examples. There. And I would assume that, you know, even though, like you said, you know, change management is always difficult because, you know, people always, you're kind of used to the way they o they've always done things. I, I would imagine that, um, you know, folks today can't imagine going back to using the Excel spreadsheets and doing things the way they used to do. Is that correct? Adrian, you're exactly right. I mean, at first, there's there a lot of reluctance, a lot of pushback, but I would say within probably five days, the, the associates out using the system on the floor at the dispatch desk were all like, this is the greatest thing since sliced white bread. You know, they did not want to even think about going back to Excel. So yes, they were all very, very pleased. Right, right. It's like the opposite problem. If you, if you were to shut it down, they would scream and yell at you for, uh, for, for, for uh, you know, making them go back. Um, so, so what's next, you know, for, for Pactive in terms of, you know, continuous improving your, your yard management operations? I mean, and, you know, what, what role can technology help? Um, a couple of things we've been looking at is uh, integration with our WMS. We run on SAP, so we're looking at integrating SAP with our pink YMS, um, which would reduce the amount of data entry we have to do in the system. Um, it would also update orders as being completed and ready for pickup automatically. So again, the automated email will be sent for pickup. Um, some of the other functionality we're looking at is they have drones that can be used not only for inventory, but also for, again, checking your yard to see what assets are in the yard. Um, and we're also looking at it for more shuttle management in regards to being able to track our shuttle driver productivity and assigning them their moves through the system versus only using it uh, for the spotting moves. Great. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the, 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 a lot of buzz uh, today around uh, drones. And I, I know Pink is, is one of those uh, companies that are uh, actively exploring that and certainly a lot of great potential opportunity, you know, for that in, uh, in, in that in that area. Um, so, so, Chris, as a, as a way to wrap up, I mean, what words of advice or recommendations would you give to other, you know, other companies that are just beginning, you know, their journey uh, in pursuing a, uh, you know, in journey, their journey in terms of pursuing a a yard management you know, project and, and in selecting a, a solution? Um, I would definitely start now. Don't wait. Um, make sure you set out your business processes. Have a clear defined list of what you're looking for. Uh, there are a lot of vendors out there today offering YMS. Um, some of them will show you screens on their uh, website or the packet and they might not necessarily be their screens. So make sure you're doing your due diligence and making sure that you are selecting the product that best suits your business needs. Great, great input. Well, Chris, uh, th thank you very much for you know making the time to share your story and and highlighting how you know Pactive has uh, uh, you know driven innovation and, and continuous improvement within your yard management operations. So again, thank you very much for making the time. No problem, Adrian. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And thank you for those of you that have joined us today and certainly look forward to seeing you in our next installment of Profiles in Yard Management Excellence. Thank you.